Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you And welcome back to the beat up plans for return to play another little bit of Hearthstone. You may be wondering why I am a little late with the upper tiers of the Ice Crown Adventure. Well, that's because I made a one hour episode, looked back at it, and then I had no sound. Apparently, when Windows updates and does something totally different, it also resets what's your main microphone. I know I should have checked that as a professional guy, but <clears throat> I didn't. I just trust that when Windows updates something, it doesn't mess with other settings. So I have a one hour episode with me trying out winning and what have you not, and also to try things out to see if we could beat the boss in certain ways, but no sound. Nothing. Whatsoever. And I could show you that, but then you also don't have the voice lines of the bosses themselves. So I thought I will do it all over again. I started and voila, and then twice internet just goes out. Apparently the Lich King just doesn't want me to show you how to beat him. I find that very unsportsmanship-like. But we're going to go to do it one more time, trying and hopefully show you the fun of this upper tier adventure. Lanathel, there are teeth marks in my cards. I told you to put them in sleeves. Now, this is Blood Queen Lanathel, and I'm going to tell you for the fourth time <laughs> that I own this legendary, but unfortunately, Blood Queen Lanathel is not considered, for instance, a demon. Blood Queen Lanathel is a 5 mana drop, 1 6, if I do that correctly out of my head, and gains 1 extra damage for every card you've discarded. Well, that would work nice, for instance, with uh, a deck that works with the, the quest deck. However, the quest deck, as I've said before... Well, we now have, for instance, the card Unwilling Sacrifice, and we already had the Predator, who eats a card of you and then adapts twice, but they don't count towards the Lokari Sacrifice quest. Despite the fact of having Sacrifice in the name, it wants you just to discard stuff. Why? Blizzard. That would have been a good... Improvement of the quest without overpowering it, or what have you not. And Blood Queen Lanafell, still... Still, that's a Dutch word. Say you wanna uh, put it into perhaps a control warlock with uh, not that many discards, but I mean, uh, Soulfire is just a good card in general, as is... Um, what's he called again? Who dares summon me? Uh, five mana, discard two cards, five, seven, charge. Let's say you have that. You have six discards in maximal... Blood Queen Lenafell could become 7-6, on average probably 3 or 4-6. And if she was a demon, she would be resummoned by Blood Raven Gul'dan, and then you would also have, if you even have, for instance, Kuru in it, twice a way to, uh, well, have a burst damage of 10 at maximum, probably not, because you also don't want to discard her cards if you call them with Guru and Blood Raven, so probably then she will be a free 6 and well still there's a lot of averages to calculate there but if she was a demon she could have been resummoned you could have uh, some consistency one way or the other it feels like making her a demon or making Lakari sacrifice uh, allowing both discarded cards and sacrificed cards to count for the quest would be good buffs to the warlock and not everybody would go haha warlock right now, which is pretty a shame, because I kind of like Warlock. But, we're going to fight a vampire with a deck that I made myself. This deck is for Putricide. Not very good for Putricide, but I will come to that. I'm just going to go with a Token Druid deck, and I have called this the Beta Aggro Druid, because I do have a few other things in here that I find interesting to use. Valkyrian versus Lord Queen Lanathel. I must protect the wild. You have made an unwise decision. Should have, would have liked a bit more pause actually in between there. I want more, more means to drop, so I'm going to actually throw away a few buffs. Yeah, there's an enchanted raven. That's nice. And why? Well, I will show you in a moment. Drop you, and then she does always no, stop this. Turn the enemy hero into a vampire. What do I get? I gain give a non-vampire plus two plus two. You must use this. That is a Wanna very important on note. One of my minions. They're dormant and delicious. 
and covered in gravy. So you want a lot of minions in order to actually fight. And because, well, she does also this, the Blood Raven Gul'dan hero ability, basically, uh, you really want to have something on the board. So I'm getting a little too many buffs here, actually, because now I can't prevent this guy from dying. Oh, and there's Demon Wrath, which normally hurts her. And she can't use her power, however, because she herself, her hero power costs two, mine costs zero. So... Sucks to be her, I guess. But uh, I think we've already done this here. Can't be targeted by hero powers. Goodbye, you can't eat him. And with uh, Savage Roar, we have, um, I think, deadly damage on board. Uh, we still have that. Can't be targeted by Corruption. Six attack, eight. Yeah, we have it. There's, by the way, a card I crafted. Malfurion the Pestilent. But uh, we don't need it anymore. Really? Is that all you've got? And now I know how to, that I needed to pause there because I did this before. That I killed her so fast that her next line went over this line. But I give you all the goodness. For the wild. And just because she made me a vampire. But we were getting along so well. She is not a problem at all. None of them. It is fortunate you cannot lose stars at your rank. And neither is the end person. And neither would the guy in the middle if I had a certain card, but I don't own that one. But it's time for... Professor Putricide is my card draw engine, but all he draws is gas. I really dislike him. And seeing I failed a few times with him, he at a certain point said his deck was disgusting, uh, the Lich King, and that he actually liked him a little more. Because, well... Currently, he has mad science, passive, hero power, all secrets cost zero. You can expect a lot of secrets in such a deck. Right, so I tried Secret Mage, but that's not all that Professor Putrescine does. I do like this boss a lot. And I think it would be a lot easier if you would just get, for instance, versus Professor Putricide. Eater of Secrets. But I don't own Eater of Secrets Let's as a card. Begin. Now, this. Good news, everyone. I fixed the poison slime pipes. Yay! Uh, but, uh, yeah, this deck has beaten him, and I was about to beat him twice when the internet dropped for the first time. <laughs> but it does need a certain um, follower order of cards for that to work properly. And this is not it. Though Deathstalker Rexer is nice. That did help me the last time, the first time I did one of him, I should say. Oh, but this is really a bad opening. Job's done. Could be that we have to restart. Great news, everyone! The slime is flowing again. We need a drop now. And that can't be explosive trap. And that is a very painful drop to lose against the slime, but we'll have to do it. We'll try for a moment, but I already think that this is uh, over. Well, if you don't want to attack me... I'm just gonna end turn here. That's... Of course, then he does attack my guy. Lovely. Fine. Get away, Kodo. Not a problem. Job's done. To my side. Uh, this could now be uh, vaporized. I know he has that in his deck. What we do? Okay, board is once again static. That's not nice. Not nice at all. Yeah, let's restart. I need I need with this deck a certain start, and this I'm going to slow now already. Rexa versus 
Professor Putricide. And yes, I know I have Piranha Launch in here, which is horrible, but it actually Let has a use in this begin. this what particular fight. Everyone, I fix the poison slime bites. That's too high. I kept you for just a little bit of defense. Urgh. Well, no secret to start with. That's really annoying. I also, I'm sure that my voice shows that I'm a little annoyed in general, and that has simply to do with the fact already that I'm playing this again. <laughs> there's like, there's only so much that you can play of an adventure to enjoy, but if you have to play it with the same deck every time, that's really horrible. Is that explosive trap? No, that's freezing trap. I should have played it with the other cat. Oh, that's conceit. Well fought. That's not what I wanted to hit. I wanted to do a restart. Putricide. Your deck is disgusting. I've underestimated you. That was done the one good thing that comes out of that. But uh, yeah, I just need a certain start. A decent. I don't need a perfect start with this deck, but I need... Professor Putricide. You know, something to go well, and not that he copies every of my minions and what have you not. Good news, uh, we'll everyone. keep this, actually. The poison slime bite. This is a bit dangerous, but we'll try. And there's Explosive Trap. Now, if this dies to Vaporize or Explosive Trap or what have you not, that's not so much of a problem. Look at how many secrets he has. Too early. Misdirection? Freeze trap. Oh, now I can't contest the Cobra. Well, we have Explosive Trap. That's really good. Thank you. He did it in the wrong way, which is really good for us. Because now Poison doesn't matter at all, because we have a 1-1. One -one. I'm actually going to put this guy on the because one of these might be vaporized and I don't want to lose this guy. Oh, that's explosive trap possibly again on his side. So I will not throw you down first. I could throw down you though. Yeah, let's do that. Vaporize, I was correct. Run away! Which also why a death rattle isn't bad. There we go. And it's not explosive trap. Sorry that this list is so super long, but yeah, I can't really help that, of course. Um. Run away. Now, I am on purposely not going to trigger this last little bit of armor. That has a very specific reason. Um. Could safeguard you then, but I'll wait for that. Mm. If I want to trigger that, uh, that's a. Uh, yeah. Hit this. Take away the last little bit of armor. Tentacles. Oh my, they do have a mind of their own, don't they? And voila, all of a sudden 15 armor extra and now all weapons cost one. Hey, thank you. And I can kill that dude. Now that is important oh, because... Master God, you were always my favorite. Next to Rot Face. So I have to just look here for a moment. There you are. 
At the end of your turn, deal 3 damage to all enemy minions. 4 mana, 3-5, free, 3 free and damage to all enemy minions. This legendary is crazy. Better even than Rotface. So, Fester God, we've now dealt with him. Um, I will throw down this. This can be Counterspell, Catrick. It's probably Catrick. So this is Catrick, the thing here, and this might be this is probably Counterspell. So playing spells is now bad. Divine Shield. Because he does have the 4 4 that can explode the board with 2, and this would prevent that. Um, I also should rem uh, keep in mind that Rut Phase is about to come, because that's in his next phase of the Legendary. Uh, we could use Savannah High Main to kill. No, Rut Phase is. No, it's a 4-6, I think, if that's face. Oh, if only I knew now. I could do the Corpse Widow as well. But that's then 9 mana, and we currently have 7. I'll first take out this. And I will put down the Hyena High Main without you. There we go. What we do. There you are. I didn't know I even had one of these. And he does smart. But that does happen. Mm, interesting. Now the problem is that he has this guy in front of that. That is really annoying. And Piranha Launcher comes now one turn too late. Um, I can't do anything about this, so Rodface is going to summon something. Mm, both of them will kill my hyena, my uh, high main, regardless. Did he ever do to you? Don't want to cast this because we know that these secrets trigger from a spell, so... I'll show them. I don't see the point. I'll show them all. I would love it if I could get um, uh, Rexar Deathstalk. That would be the best right now. And health would be not bad. Why do we keep getting things I don't want? <laughs> Hunt alone. Hold on. Um, no. I hunt alone. Shouldn't have done that. Should have done it the other way around. Because if he now just got um, a secret like death, tra um, the explosive trap, I would have been in problems. He played oh, 5 mana to play... 6 mana, 3-6. This is a good... card, don't get me wrong, but... Um... Now we will play it, because... That won't save you. No, it's his counterspell, of course, because... And so it will save him. What am I doing? Wait, that's not... Oh, no, because it's counterspell, that doesn't trigger. Right. Well, that was still very dumb, but he can't attack with face now, something of this. We should we win. We should win. With a good old punch of the hero power button. And there he goes down. Putricide. That was perfect. 
pathetic. You belong in a hunter deck, not my citadel. Yes, as he's a bit of a sciencey hunter. Now the next Sindragosa is my finisher. Stay away. You cannot have her. Sindragosa. Delish King's pet frost worm is a chilling foe. At 20 health, transform all enemy means into a block of ice. Well, that has a problem. There's another problem that she presents. But I hate to do it. But basically, in my opinion, this enemy boss just says, play Pirate Warrior again. And I will show you why. Garrosh versus Sindragosa. There is, I think, Victory. another way, but I will get to that in a moment. You this is a very bad opening. To come to this place. That's still a very bad opening. Well, as you notice, these guys, those are important. Job They're done. blocks of ice. And it's not like Cinderagosa, you deal them one damage and you get a random legendary. And then there is this, Unchained Magic. For each Your spell that- magic betrays you! For each spell you have in your hand, she deals you free damage. This is a very, very bad opening. Uh, this is the disadvantage of Pirate Warrior, if you just don't get a bloody weapon. Sapper. And I mulligan hard. As you can see, she's trying to prevent you from casting spells. She doesn't like- You may be wondering, how do I get rid of these ice blocks? The answer is, you can't. <laughs> I still like that when he says that. Um, the fact is, she doesn't want you to cast spells, she doesn't want you to be minion based. That means weapon based, in my opinion. I do think, for instance, that uh, a big ass. Oh, uh, come on! Okay. Uh, yeah, see, that can I can't do this. Restart. I, I didn't get a weapon at all. I, I, I need either a Fury War Axe or uh, a Nuzal First Mate. Yeah. I need something like that. Versus the first time I just beat her in one go after I chose for Pirate Warrior. Victory or death! Please. You are to come to this place. But let me talk about the other strategy. I can't understand if you ramp up with Druid, but that's again having a lot of spells. This is again a really bad hand for you to start. That you can, for instance, throw down Deathwing. Deathwing yeah. removes everything on the board. I assume he will remove the ice blocks, but then again, it costs really uh, some time to get there. Victory or death! You are a fool to come to this place! Well, at least we have something of a weapon. That's still not a really good opening, but whatever. Fly, Polly. Choose your victims with care. The cold hand of death will claim you all. I mean, I rather would not do it with this guy and have something else on the board that will allow me to. Because that's also an issue. Ugh. Really? Well, otherwise I'm going to take extra damage anyway, so enjoy. The good thing about it is that we can chip her just down to 21 until we can really hit her hard with a minion. That's basically what the good thing about this is. I'm not going to throw down anything right now. I should have attacked though. I'm sorry. There's an Arcanite Reaper. We have two of them now. We really would also like a Blood Soul Cultist. Something just to bump up our weapon so that it will last a long time. There's a Fairy War Axe, but now you are too late and I don't. I have no longer need of your services. Now, throwing her down could be good because if we can get her down to a nice 24, it also all will be good. 
Um... Please, something I can use. I don't want to attack because I don't want to put it to 20 and I don't want to lose this unit. Darn it, stop with the not useful stuff. I'm not getting my weapon upgrades, which would be, of course, amazing at this point. And I don't want to... Uh, no. One more turn. I will have to take this. That's also not a weapon buff card. For the war chief! For Blood and plunder! Just destroy yourself on this. And let's put some means down just to take down her board. Oh no, come on, please. Just give me a weapon buff. Give me a weapon buff. You gave me a weapon buff! Thank you. Not lost my mind, don't worry. I've lost my mind because I... <coughs> oh! Order! Vita plan! Order! Order! I'm so sorry, folks. <laughs> I'll leave that in, just to... Uh, for the funsies. Oh, my damn! I say I've not lost my mind, and then I... Mix up the order. Please! Fairy War Axe. Awesome. Victory or death! You are fools! I'll even keep Arcanite Reaper. For later. That's overdoing it in the weapon department. Fly, face is the place, come on, give me weapon buffs so then I have enough damage to just go face and be done with it. Because I haven't seen her playing any taunts. Uh, there we go, we can buff this and then that. Yeah, that would be good enough. There we go. Okay, we'll have to take you down. Delays my plans a wee little bit. And of course, now we're going to use this with Arcanite Reaper. My work is paramount. Leave me alone. Ooh, not even a dragon in your hand. <laughs> Next turn is the turn. She doesn't even do anything. Interesting. Uh, we'll wait with throwing down the pirate in order to buff with Blood Soaker, sir. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. That's a South Sea captain, that's not what we needed. Blood and plunder. And... When it we set to 20, huh? Yeah, so let's not do it right now. None shall Not a problem. Alrighty then, we can do burst damage of 14. Stab on She's at 9. This mean is frozen and no worth nothing anymore. But we have enough on board. Ten. As it is. Yeah, should be fine. Um, 
prevent us from dying. Oh, almost. There we go. Oh, if we can. This time I'm not an idiot. What a pirate warrior. These are the free decks I use in order to win, and of course... This entire deck must be purged! I totally agree, because they're just sucky. Why build a... Um, um, you cannot play minions, you cannot play spells. Okay, I have to play Pirate Warrior. Guess that's fun! Uh, anyways, uh, this is the deck, and... I'm not sure if Patches is good in this, I must warn you, because it will turn into a block of ice, unless, of course, you can sacrifice against one of the creatures that she will play. But, that was the wins. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, along with the failures. Probably sure that got somebody of you to smile. And I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.